Wulu Jigarat was built during the Third Dynasty of Wulu Sumerian Renaissance. This ziggurat is dedicated to the moon god Nana. This is Nasiria. During the third dynasty of the Sumerian, it means about 2113 years BC, they use it for worship as temple of the moon god. In the Sumerian language, they call god Nana, sometimes Nanar. In the Babylonian language, called Sin. The name of the king who built the god called King Urnamu. And Urnamu, the founder of the third dynasty. Sometimes they call the Ziggurat of Ur Al Mugaya because they use bitumen between the bricks and bitumen in Arabic called gear. So the ziggurat, the height of it at that time about 26 meters, now 17 meters, 25 centimeters. So most of the third level collapsed and that time also a temple on the third level uh, collapsed. The water of third level and second level and first level uh, fell down through that hole and then the water fell down on the steps in order the water uh, to carry the rainwater away from this structure so they're putting a small stair in the bottom of the ziggurat. I find another way to the top. Yes, this, uh, yeah, this way? Going up? Yes. To the top? Up. Oh, to the top. the top. Yes. Yes, I can see the top here. Huge staircase. How many steps? 
That's uh, 93. 93 steps. <laughs> yes. Wow, it's a long way. <laughs> We are inside the uh, temple which called the Blanmas. Inside two rooms. The highest one called Silla. It means Holy of Holies. And here called Anti Silla. It means Spans in the front of the Holy Holies. So inside anything's original except the layer of cement on the top. This is putting by British Museum. This is cuneiform, ancient writing. Cuneiform? Yeah. What does it say? This, uh, we know the name of the temple and the name of the king who built it and the name of the kings who doing maintenance for it. One main entrance. This building called Shulgi Palace because most of the building built during time of King his name Shulgi. This is the uh, gate of the or rock ziggurat. This ziggurat building uh, built before about uh, 3,400 uh, year BC. Uh, this is one of the ancient ziggurat in all over the this world. This ziggurat consists of seven letters or seven layers. I am standing right in front of probably the fourth level. So up to three, it is buried underground. So I can see five, six, seven, all the way to the top. Here now we are in uh, Uruk civilization 
now exactly at the royal palace. Uh, this royal palace uh, divided in two parts, uh, winter part and summer part. Now we are at the winter part of the royal palace. This is Royal King Winter Palace. I can see beautiful color. Blue color here, decorated with blue. And also here, yellow, blue, beautiful decoration. This part of the palace is called Winter Palace and this part of the Winter Palace representation the rooms for the uh, memo, uh, for the uh, family uh, king. This is the Summer Palace, King's Royal Summer Palace. There's a Winter Palace next to this. Summer Palace and the Winter Palace are connected. Now we are at the center of the uh, white temple. This just foundation here, the group which are ex excavation here, they said this is the white temple. It's called white temple because it's built from the uh, bricks and gyps. Gyps is white, so for that they, uh, they called it white temple. Hello, I found a pottery here. Let me see. Ah, I excavated ancient pottery about 7,000 BC. This is a dam for Tigris River, built about 3000 BC. Uh, one of the famous uh, uh, statue which found here it was uh, Godie. Godie is the famous writer in all the uh, uh, Sumerian civilizations. This is Iraqi tea offered by Saba. He's a sculpture, very famous person. Then I'm going to have this tea. There's sugar inside. With spoon, mix it. Ah, looks very sweet. Maybe melt it now. Take it out. Oh, it's hot. I think I'll lift it up and try this. So great. Saba, thank you very much. Chocolate. Not at all. Chocolate. <laughs> hey, Papa, toast. <laughs> This is the meeting point of two rivers, Tigris River and Euphrates River, right here, and this will become one single river, Shat Arba. This place is also known as Garden of Eden. This is Adam's tree. This is located where 
tigers and river this river's meat. This could be the Garden of Eden. This is Ashtar Gate. This is entrance to the ancient Babylon civilization. This gate was reconstructed in 1960. This symbol is called Mount of God. It's meaning the God of the Master. It was the main God for Babylonian people. Babylonian, they worshipped it in that time under the name of Mardok. And this character contains all different characters from different animals. The first one, head of a dragon, and the other one, the four legs looks like legs of the lion, the back legs like legs of eagle, the tail a snake, the end of the tail end of a scorpion. This is a legendary animal, but it was the main symbol for Babylonian people. It's called part of God, the God of the Master. We are standing now in number 18. Number 18 with red ground. Red background, close the new gate. This is Ashtar Gate. Then we will see original gate in number 13. We will see the lower gate because the upper gate now in Germany. The city of Babylon divided by river. The name of the river with the name with number one. It is called Al Farat. In Arabic, in English, Euphrates River. There was a bridge in Babylon with number 27. There was a tower in that time called Babylon Tower. Babylon To. In Japanese. Babylon To, number 22. Number 7, maybe we will see the Hanging Gardens, Oniwa or uh, Kuchuten. With number 4, it is another theory about the garden. Number 5, it is also for the city wall of Babylon. Uh, also, Kyodin. Kyodin. Okay, then we will see number 11 for the Lion of Babylon. This is about our tour in Babylon City. This is the model of the Tower of Babylon, a uh, small design about the Tower of Babylon, the height of the tower at that time, 91 meter point five. We got this information from ancient clay tablet, talking about the Tower of Babylon with the characters of the Tower of Babylon. The number of stages of the tower are seven, because number seven was holy number, with three stairs in the, south, in the southern direction. In the top, there's ceramic room. It is dedicated for the symbol of the god. Do you remember when we entered, you took picture for a dragon. They put statue like a dragon on the top of this one. They believe this is the room of the god. All the site was temple and also dedicated for uh, astronomical idea to watch the sky and also to watch the enemy from distant distance. But the most important function, it is religious function, like temple in the time. The tower now is just foundation, as I told you in the beginning. Nothing to see from the tower. Uh, then, in the tour, we will see it. Is the tower for what? Create a god or sound god? Yes, yes. It is uh, to create a god. Mm. Here we have original sculpture, the lion. 
means Ashtar goddess, the goddess of love and the beauty, peace and power. This sculpture dated to 605 BC, I mean 2,600 years ago from now. It is made from ceramic material or clay bricks. She has the lion in the middle, or background from uh, blue color, uh, bordered by two the frieze or lion, dotted with chamomile flower, I mean Babylonian flower. Here we have chamomile flower, it is Babylonian flower, and holy flower for Babylonian people. It is used in that time to cure, to cure people from asthma and for different purposes or different medical purposes. Here we have sextil, should be sextil flower or sextil leaf in this one. In the center, like yellow one. This layer represents the goddess of Ashtar. These flowers are chamomile flowers, 16 petals of flower. This is similar to Japan's chrysanthemum throne. Our chrysanthemum also had 16 petals. This is the symbol of Babylon in Iraq. And this road passing through ancient gate, the name Ashtar Gate. Then we will see original gate. We have the lower gate, but the upper gate in Germany. Here we have two kinds of asphalt. You can see the first one is original one. And here it is a new layer of new asphalt in 1980. But the history of the original one, about 2,600 years ago from now. The statement of the old one, too much better from the statement of a new one. Why? Because Babylonian, they put with the ancient one secret material. This is the main gate of the South Palace in Babylon. Original name of the city in Babylonian time, it's called Bab Edi. Bab is Arabic word. Now we still use this word in Arabic language, means gate or door. Eli in our Iraqi language, we say Tiyallah. This is the developed name for the word of Allah, I mean the God. So the meaning from Bab Edi, gate of the God. In Arabic language now, we call it Babel. And in different language, especially English language, it is called Babylon. Because Alexander the Great, when he occupied Babylon and he chose Babylon city as military capital for him, when he died here, he ruled Babylon 11 years, he called Bab Edi as Babylon. The same meaning, gate of the cat. Our location now in the front, Ashtar Gate. I will buy Ashtar, Ashtar Babylonian world, is being the symbol for the goddess of love and the beauty. Uh, this is called Ashtar Gate. I mean by the gate. This point of the building, from here to the end of that building. And the other side here. Both of them joined with arch. I mean vault. All the side called Ashtar Gate. Ashtar Gate was in the still original. The history of the gate, 605 BC. I mean total. Now we're going to the original Ashtar Gate. Mohammed, archaeologist, and my best guide is going to open the secret door for me to enter. This is a special privilege for me. <laughs> Thank you, you. Mohammed. Thank you. This side, be careful with some drainage. Yeah, yes. And I will lock the door to okay. see exactly. Kind of uh, reliefs, two kind of animals. The first one here, you can see it is called in Babylonian language, Magdok, the god of Magdok. is mean the god of power, the main god in Babylonian idea. 
this symbol that is dealing with the Tower of Babylon. We can see here different bars of different animals. Head of a dragon. The body is covered by skin of shark. The tail as, as a snake. And the end of the tail, end of a scorpion. Four legs as the legs of a lion. Back legs as legs of eagle. An imagination, but it was religious symbol. The main god in Babylonian language. The god Mark of Adet, the god of fertility, the god of thunder, the god of agriculture. This is like Paul. Was it still original? As we can see, the walls of the gate, two kinds of animals. And the function of the gate, it is like main entrance for the city of Babylon from the northern direction. And also like fortification, because the location of the gate was in the middle of city wall of Babylon. Here the royal stamp, I mean uh, original seal. It is stamped by ancient Babylonian people. It is the royal stamp written with Babylonian inscription. It is called the cuneiform inscription. Here we have information about the name of the king, Nebuchadnezzar, with the name of his father, Nebuchadnezzar, with the name of the gate, Ashtar Gate, with the name of two main religious symbols. Mardog and Egit, uh, Edit, asphalt. Yeah, of Babylonian ancient asphalt. Yes, asphalt. In Babylonian mm. language, it is called naft. Naft. Like Arabic word, means oil. Oil? Or oh. So we can uh, reproduce the same asphalt? Uh, now Naft? we have the same asphalt in Iraq, mm. but it is difficult to make like Babylonian one because Babylonian, they put ancient material I mean, secret materials with the old one. So it is too much better from new asphalt in Iraq. In spite of the old one and the new one, both of them from one place, from one city. But Babylonian, they deal old asphalt with secret materials. Secret material. Yeah. So n no description, nothing, nothing uh, written? About uh, the material? description about this one, they say it, it is uh, the mixture of asphalt, cortez from mm. asphalt mm. and sulfur, mm. yolk of eggs. Wow, amazing! Yeah, yeah. and ash, silica, limestone, bones, shells, all these mixture together with asphalt. We have the first level of Babylon city at the time, Nebuchadnezzar II. Nothing was over there, but when the city of Babylon was submerged by a big flood from any of its river, the king of Babylon, he decided to raise the level of the city for many stages. Became the level of the city for stage number two, then for stage number three. Then this gate became underground and became the road as we saw before, in the top. So when the gate became underground, it is covered by earth, the king of Babylon, he decided to build another gate in the top of this one. When he built the top of this one again, he built the gate with the same design, but he changed the material. He used glazed bricks. Here we have buried bricks, but he used glazed bricks, I mean ceramic. This is the procession street surrounded by two walls. One wall is uh, uh, for the South Palace and another wall is for the military. Yeah. We have the same uh, connection of the way, the procession street, it was a highway in Babylon. Here we can see the way, still original, the same material, bricks and asphalt, and the same history, 605 BC. We are now in the outer direction of Babylon city, but also it was the capital of Babylonian Empire. The king he decided to expand it in the building in this area. So Ashtar Gate became in the middle of the city and in the middle of Babylonian city wall. Here we have uh, two walls in direction. These are like, for example, a new wall, but the original were ceramic, like the lion. There were 60 sculptures of the lion decorated along of this wall.
This is Nimark Temple, Great Lady Temple in Babylon. This is the Lion of Babylon, built about 600 BC. This represents the goddess of Ashita. This is the original structure. The Lion of Babylon, famous statue in the history of Iraq and Babylon. The Lion means uh, symbol for Babylonian power. There is a human figure under the Lion, it's a symbol about enemy. So the statue is original, the material basalt stone. The weight of the statue, five tons. The basement is a new one, not original, but the original one still inside. The face of the head was broken up by bomb by two French men. They are thinking about antiquities and precious stones. So we can see the crack over there. So it is called the main palace. It is built at the time Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon in 605 before Christ. On the original site here, it is used by Babylonian government and the family of the king. Our location now between Babylonia and city wall. I mean the inner city wall of Babylon because Babylon city at that time was surrounded by two main city walls. The first one called the outer city wall. It is so far from here. And the other wall called the inner city wall. Here we have ruins of the inner city wall in different direction. The first wall for defense, the second wall for defense, the third wall for defense. Both of these called the inner city wall of Babylon. They are still original. The history, 605 BC, I mean 2000, 600 years ago from now. The materials of the buildings, sun dry bricks and bricks with bitumen and the clay they used it at that time. It is used for fortification. Here behind of me, the maze or labyrinth. If the enemy of Babylon attacks Babylon, it is difficult to pass from here because the system of defense here like maze. It is difficult to attack this site in order to reach to the royal palace of the king. This is the throne hall of the palace, and this is the throne, this platform. And king was sitting here. I'm standing inside the throne hall. I'm standing exactly at the point where Alexander the Great died in 323 BC. An archaeologist, they called it cuneiform inscription. What is written there? Yeah. The king of Babylon, he put his name here, with the na I mean Nebuchadnezzar king, with the name of uh, Nabopolassar king, father of Nebuchadnezzar, with the name of this site, South Palace, with the name of Babylonian religious symbols, Magdog and Adet Yod. This might be the place where a hanging garden was situated, but there's no evidence to prove this. So, hanging garden may be located just above here. This is the entire view of Babylon city in Iraq.
This is the remains of the foundation of the Babel Tower, which was existed approximately 4000 BC. The height of the tower was 91 meters and width of the tower was also 91 meters. It was a square shaped tower. When the tower was destroyed, God made people speak different languages according to the Old Testament. Okay, we are standing now in front of the foundation of Babylon Tower, the history of the tower 4000 BC, belong to Sumerian time. But the level of the tower above Sumerian time, not in front of us, now it is just underground about 50 meters. The other evidence about the history of the tower at the time of Hammurabi in 1792 BC to 1750 BC, then it is rebuilt again in 605 BC at the time Nebuchadnezzar became the tower so high. Now we don't have a full tower, we have just foundation as bordered with square green color with the trees and grass. This is the foundation of Babylon Tower, which is destroyed by an idea of Bible and the Old Testament, by the God. This is Saddam Hussein Palace, built in 1990 in Babylon. Now uh, in Saddam Palace, in the end of the direction of Saddam Palace, next to Hella River. Of course, everything here with decoration like Babylonian elements, the architecture of Babylon, arch, stop wall, water and recesses, all this Babylonian element. situated right next to Samara Grand Mosque. This was built in the 9th century. It is about 52 meters high. This is Samara in Iraq. This is top of the Samara Minaret. This is Teshifon, built around 200 BC by a Persian king 
and the Winter Palace. This arch is the oldest ancient arch in the world. This is Baghdad in Iraq. In the liberation campaign of 
Mohammed Dissad. This is Karbala. This is a civilization bridge in Assyria, in Iraq, by night. This is Saddam Palace. This is Saddam Gate in Basra. Hello, this is Basra Museum. Former Saddam Hussein Palace. This is the old house called Shanashiu. It's about 400 years old. This is Basra in Iraq. This is Kyrgyzstan. I finally made it. Bye. Hello. It's really hot today. You need a bath. Yes. There's a bath behind me, around the door. Ancient time, people did not have shower, of course. So they come here to take the bath. And then the mosque was built next to it. Here's a mosque. This is Elbi, Kurdistan.